In this video, I wanna cover some of the foods that are hidden with pesticides, but they're not the dirty dozen like you may know. Okay, we're all very familiar, if you're not, where have you been, of the Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 list. And this is something that you can honestly even just Google and you can find these lists. But I wanna talk about foods that are not on those lists, that have, can have a lot of pesticides and should still be ideally bought organic. And I bet you have some of these in your pantry right now. All right, so the first food that I wanna chat about is oats. Oats are commonly contaminated with pesticides, and I do know, and I can give you of one of my favorite brands of all time called Farmers We Know, and this is a brand that's gluten-free, um, but it's also glyphosate tested free. Free of glyphosate, that's really awesome. That is such a rare label to find, and to find these oats that have that label, and not only are they like gluten-free, glyphosate-free? They're also sprouted oats, which makes it easier to digest as a grain. So I'm a huge fan of this company, and this is what I prefer first over any other oats. So buying oats organic should be on your list next time you go shopping. Number two is coffee. Coffee is a very common food that is sprayed with pesticides. And I'm talking your run-of-the-mill, like Folgers coffee, um, not good quality, very, very conventional. Coffee bean is one of the things that I love to buy organic if you are a coffee drinker, which most people are. So making sure that you are drinking your true cup of joe and not cupo pesticides. Number three is protein powders. I find that this is commonly thought about when buying protein powders, a buying or an organic pea protein or an organic whey. So that's wonderful. Definitely making sure that you are buying organic protein powders, but also something to note. And if you can find this on your own, it has nothing to do with pesticides, but making sure that your protein powder is also not high in heavy metals. This takes a little bit of digging to do, but definitely worth it. Four is going to be your seeds and seed oils. So these are flaxseed and sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. So making sure that products that you use, that use the oil or utilize like there's gluten-free crackers out there, making sure that it's organic to limit the intense really awful pesticides like glyphosate. Something to note is that organic isn't perfect and there's still pesticides that are used, but at least you know that you're going to be avoiding glyphosate and other really harmful pesticides. So you can move forward at least in a little bit of the right direction. Next up is baby food. Baby food, I think us moms are starting to listen and hone into this and buy organic jarred baby food if they're not making their own baby food themselves, which is wonderful because those canned or jarred baby foods do have pesticides in it. There was a 2020 study that showed children having a decreased IQ because they were exposed to a certain kind of pesticide called organo phosphate. So if you can't make your own baby food, then you can at least buy organic and feel confident in that decision. The next one is kind of on the dirty dozen, but I, it's easily forgotten and I wanted to bring to your attention. So apples, but not just apples itself, but apple products. And no, I'm not talking about your phone or computer, <laughs> but I'm talking about the apple juice and applesauce and all the things that are made from apple. Apples can not only contain pesticides because they are on the dirty dozen list, so making sure that that is one of the foods that you buy organic, but also can be exposed to certain molds too. So making sure that you are getting high quality, all apple products will be really beneficial. So this goes for anything made with apple. So don't just buy full organic apples, buy those too, but buy organic apple juice if you do buy that, organic applesauce and so forth. The last one, or food group, I should say, is going to be legumes. These are your beans. And even though we don't really think about it, and this goes for dried or canned beans, this is something that should be on our radar. In a study done by the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group in 2020, more than 90% of legumes of chickpea or chickpea-based foods had detectable levels of glyphosate. This is concerning. So not just the bean itself, but bean products like pastas. I know it, this can feel really overwhelming. Um, and sometimes we feel like, okay, we have a win. We're buying all the dirty dozen organic. I'm good. 
as much as you can by organic. Like I said earlier in the video, it's not perfect by any means, but it's a step in the right direction. And we are voting with our money of what we want and the quality of food that you and I deserve. So leave a comment below if you have any questions. And then if this is something that you're interested in and you want to geek out on environmental toxins, I want you to go in the description and go to the link that talks about our services as nutritionists and dietitians, because one of the lab testing that we do on our clients is environmental toxin testing to be able to see levels of pesticides and um, other chemicals like BPA and phthalates and parabens, just to understand what you're exposed to, what's high in the body, and how can we help encourage proper detoxification and also minimizing exposure.